Our next four presentations all come from students who secured internships at RBC. Uh, first, we'll hear from uh, Harsimran Aneja, who was at the local market risk intern at RBC. Uh, again, congratulations are in order. Uh, he received a return offer from RBC and he will be joining them as a risk manager in the global market risk when he completes his studies at MMF. So join me in welcoming and congratulating Hasim Brananeja. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Professor, for that introduction. Uh, so I was at uh, Group Risk Management in RBC in uh, local market risk for commodities. And so I'll paint you a picture of how the last four months were for me. So firstly, I'll do a little rundown of the primary responsibilities that I had. So the first thing that I had to do was uh, be responsible for running all of the daily reports uh, that we had in our group. So this was done to ensure that we had up-to-date risk metrics and that if anything was crossing certain thresholds uh, that was a cause of concern, we could go ahead and uh, see if there was anything that needed to be addressed. Secondly, um, once the data was up to date, uh, I did an analysis of the data to see if any risk metrics had large changes. And if they did, I provided an analysis and commentary to uh, the rest of my team so that they knew what the drivers of these changes were. Uh, again, if something had to be deeply explored so that um, we could make sure that we stayed within our limits. Uh, thirdly, uh, there was multiple databases that different teams used, and a lot of these databases had similar levels of information that needed to be consistent. So I made sure to do analysis on these databases to make sure that all of the data was consistent. Fourthly, uh, so once all of this data was there and we did our analysis, uh, we sent an email to the broader risk business every single day with uh, summary statistics at uh, a less granular level to make sure that the entire business knew at a very high level what was happening in the commodities business day by day. And lastly, um, one thing I really heavily focused on and I was really heavily uh, told to focus on as part of my internship was to continuously further my understanding of the different products that uh, RBC offered, um, whether in risk or just like the general business, and to make sure I knew what the market drivers were that caused large movements in the valuation of these products. And so uh, lastly, I'll move on to special projects. Now, everyone has primary responsibilities. Uh, everybody <laughs> doesn't want to do just these daily tasks every single day. So uh, another thing that was a large focus of my internship were these special ad hoc projects. So whether it was the team that noticed something or me individually that noticed that there was efficiencies to be made, uh, I raised this concern and we made projects to make the lives of the teams easier. So one of these things was updating and creating new Tableau dashboards in order to uh, upgrade the interpretability and accessibility of this data so that the team could more efficiently get access to the data they needed to do the analysis and uh, move further on with that. Uh, secondly, I created Python automation for manual data analysis, and I did this so that the team could have more time figuring out why things changed, uh, other than figuring out what changed. And so that would make their lives easier and more efficient. Thirdly, uh, I automated some web queries using Python. This was done to streamline the flow of data in between businesses, which in this context was our local market risk desk and the quant risk desk for commodities. So fourthly, uh, one of the things I did was to convert Excel reports uh, away from being uh, generated by VBA and being entirely generated using Python. This was done as there was already pre-existing automated daily process on Python, and this technology was made more efficient by combining everything into one technology, which is Python, rather than having to deal with Excel and Python. And lastly, throughout my internship, uh, sometimes scenarios came up where stress testing scenarios needed to be updated, which I was responsible for and made sure the accurate data was updated. And that's basically my presentation. Thank you. Uh, thank you, thank you. His supervisor at RBC was uh, Gangadar Biradar, but he couldn't join us. Instead, um, some comments I have here to read to you, and I quote, Hasim Brand's ability to self-study is impressive. He was quick to learn our reporting structure in Tableau and show his understanding of what's most important. His Python programming skills and quantitative attitude were highly valuable to us. So congratulations for that. 
And for the Q&A, if you have a question, please use the raise hand button in the reaction tab. Turn on your camera and unmute your mic. We'll bring you on stage to ask your question. You can also type your question into the chat and Michael will read it for us. My question to you is, how has this internship influenced your career goals in finance? Yeah, perfect. Thank you, Professor. So uh, even though I did six co-ops during my undergrad, none of them were actually in risk. And this was the first time I got experience with risk. And uh, as you can tell, I've accepted a return offer. So I really enjoyed my time. And risk is uh, an industry I really want to go deeper, deeper to explore. And so the way it is um, it changed my career goals is now I'll be exploring risk further. So thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. Congratulations. You know, double congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.